we wanted to spend Easter in Sydney Harbour and chose to go to Blackwattle Bay. We thought this would be a lot quieter than a lot of the other anchorages in the harbour. And we were right. The trouble was, we got our anchor fouled on something and thought we were going to have to stay there forever. Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. Blackwattle Bay is a great little anchorage if you're visiting Sydney. You're virtually right in the middle of town. There's good access to public transport and shops. And there's a, a dinghy dock uh, where the ferry comes in and you can leave your dinghy behind that and go and explore. There's even a coffee shop right at the end of this dock. Well, just having a little walk around Glebe at the moment. Wombi used to live here as a, a younger girl. So where'd you live, Wombi? Oh, many places just down here. Yeah. Used to live around this area. In my stomping grounds. Many broken hearts around here. Oh, again. sure. Yeah. Not how far. How far? About 500 metres. Really? Yeah. I'm going to go and have a look. No. Okay. Definitely one of the uh, older parts of Sydney, I reckon. Some lovely old buildings here. Mm. Well, a good little change of pace. Um, Walked up to some shops in Glee for lunch. Magnificent. Nice sandwich. Well, Wombie's on the bus into the city. Normie's got no interest. <laughs> Me and Ted are going back to the boat. Well, part of the uh, experience of being in uh, Blackwattle Bay is coming over to the Sydney fish market. Uh, it's right behind me and the fish market, they're building a new fish market here, which is going to be pretty spectacular. We're just going to go up and visit the old fish market and uh, have a bit of a look around. It's Easter Friday, so it should be pretty busy. Let's go and take a look. If you visit the market from the water, the state of the areas behind it is atrocious. There are open bins, lots of discarded polystyrene containers and plastic bags laying everywhere, just waiting to be washed or blown into Sydney Harbour. 
I was appalled and couldn't believe that an organisation making its living from the ocean could have such a scant regard for keeping it plastic free. Surely a few people could be employed to keep the area clean. Well, it looks like it's uh, going to be a pretty wild night. We might be up for a while. All of our lights went out and we had no house power. I thought we'd been hit by lightning, but soon discovered that I'd left the hot water surface switched on with the stove and microwave and it overloaded the system. I'll need to get a lower rated fuse. I'm, uh, Glad we're in Sydney. I've got about a 1.3k walk to uh, J car. I'm going to buy a new fuse holder and uh, some fuses and try and fix this problem. A little bit of a walk, but not that far. So we're just going to go over to the fish market and have coffee, and uh, and I'll go for a bit of a stroll. Old Sydney. New Sydney. Well, I've got the fuses I need. Um, I was going to buy a fuse holder, but uh, they didn't have one of them. So at least I've got some smaller fuses to put in and we'll try that and uh, just see how it goes. Now I've just got the walk back to uh, the dinghy. Thanks mate, that'd be great. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait till I hear back from you. Okay. Yeah, it's nice being here, but I, I don't want to be here forever. <laughs> okay, good on you mate, bye. Well, I've got a real problem here um, this morning. Last night I tried lifting anchor and uh, the chain's wrapped around something. I just can't get it off the bottom. Uh, the winch not strong enough to handle it. So I've just been in touch with uh, um, the Port Authority. They've put me onto the water police and the water police are now trying to talk to Maritime and see if they can get something over here to help get the chain up and um, maybe get it untangled. But we'll just uh, see what happens. So, uh What's occurred, I was going to, I was thinking about dragging the, uh, the obstruction up onto the beach into shallow water and trying to untangle it myself, but the uh, um, wind's a little bit up, I just run the risk of running onto the bricks with my props and things like that, so um, what's happened, waterways are coming down with their barge, they've got a high ab crane on it, um, they want me to drop the anchor chain off the boat with a buoy on it. Um, and they'll lift it, clear the obstruction and uh, put it back in the water. So that's the plan at the moment. So what I'm just doing is getting organised. Uh, I've just got to get down to the base of my chain and unhook it and uh, get ready to put a buoy on it. So that's what we're doing now.
well uh, I've got my spare anchor out we might anchor up they might be able to do it while I just motor around but uh, I think I'll have the uh, the emergency anchor set up so that I can anchor and just wait for them to do the job so that's a bit of a problem but uh, yeah we'll see how we go yeah it's all, all a bit of mucking around but uh, at least it's good of them to come out and, and do the job for me it saves a bit of mucking around for sure the boys from Maritime came over and tried to lift it but uh, apparently the high up crane wouldn't get it off the bottom so they said that I'd have to get a diver up again uh, in Blackwattle Bay. Interesting afternoon. Uh, waterways had a go. Reckon they couldn't lift it. But with a bit of ingenuity and uh, a really good Muir anchor windlass, I managed to uh, lift it off the bottom. We were anchored to a really old anchor off uh, a very old boat. The um, our anchor chain was wrapped around it three or four times and it was a bit of a job uh, getting it all undone. Thanks very much to uh, Ron of um, Better Than Shares. He gave me a hand when I really needed it. Uh, thanks mate, that was great. And uh, yeah, we managed to get our anchor freed and um, back in business again. What I've done, I've just uh, left a buoy on the anchor so that no one else wraps themselves around it. Waterways have came back and they're gonna pull it out of the water tomorrow, I think, and, uh, and maybe put it on display as a relic. Anyway, back to cruising again. We're not stuck in Sydney for the rest of our lives. Maritime came the next day and lifted it off the bottom. They took it back to their depot and the heritage department said that the anchor dates back probably to the 1800s. It weighed 750 kilos. Well, I've just got to sit down and have a cup of tea. been a pretty hectic day. Um, 
Wendy's been suffering from very high blood pressure just lately and uh, it went over the moon yesterday afternoon. So she's ended up uh, in hospital and they're trying to work out what's doing that. So she's going to be there for a few days while they run tests and uh, poke and prod, I guess. The other thing that happened, uh, Ted has had to go to the vet for a little cyst removed off his tummy and they found out he needs a few teeth out as well. So Teddy's coming back to the boat tonight. He'll be a sad and sorry boy. And uh, yeah, Wombie's uh, in hospital. So I just hope they can find out what's um, pushing her blood pressure up like that and address it. I guess we're lucky we're in Sydney where uh, everything is very accessible and the public transport's great. So uh, I've got my Opal card today. I'll probably use that a bit in the next week or so. But uh, yeah, better off doing it here than somewhere remote where it's uh, hard to get the services. Well, it's been a bit of a rugged day with Wombie and Ted. Ted to the vet, Wombie in the hospital, but um, it's a lovely mild night. And we're having a bit of a barbecue and a cook up right in the middle of Sydney. Fantastic view at night. about a week yeah. Yeah, yeah about a week we had a good stay there it was a great spot there was a good little pontoon to leave the dinghy on and um, we enjoyed our stay there Wendy had some medical problems and had to be in hospital for a little while and the doctors have told her that she's got to go up to Brisbane now and get some more tests so what we're going to do we're just heading down to Birkenhead Point I'm gonna get fuel and water on and then we're going to head to Rose Bay and Wendy's going to jump off and Marlene's going to take her to the airport. And I'm going to take the boat uh, up the coast by myself for a while. So hopefully she'll get sorted and be able to rejoin the boat. Um, but we'll just see how it goes. The, um, the medicos just said that it was a bit dangerous for her being on the boat and being uh, out, of reach. out of reach of hospitals and medical care. So. Um, we're going to get that organised and hopefully she'll be back on the boat soon. I've uh, fuelled up at Birkenhead Point, put on water, so I'm full of water, full of fuel. I'm right to go. Uh, now we're just going to uh, head back down the harbour to Rose Bay. We'll grab a mooring or anchor there and um, Wombi can get ashore and she's booked to see a doctor on Monday, I think, so she's going to have to fly back up on the weekend. So it's goodbye to a murky old Sydney town. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this drama-filled episode. Uh, join us next week uh, where Wendy jumps off and uh, I take the boat a bit further north. Please give us a like or make a comment. See you next week, dudes.